Let's make this water bottle icon on PowerPoint. First open up a blank slide on your PowerPoint, go to Insert, go to Shapes and pick this round same side corner rectangle over here and just drag it like that. Done. Then you have a yellow dot over here. Let me zoom in a bit. You have a yellow dot over here. Just drag it to smooth it out a bit. Done. And you will have also a yellow dot over here to smooth it out a bit. Done. Our bottle basic shape is ready to roll. Then I'll just go to insert, go to shapes and pick this rounded rectangle over here and just drag it like that and you will have a yellow dot over here too. Just smooth it out a bit. Done. Then I'll put it right over here and increase the size a bit. I'll press Ctrl Shift and <coughs> put it right over here. I'll press Ctrl Shift again and put it right over here. I'll press Ctrl Shift again and put it right over here another time and that's that's how you create the shapes. Done. Now I'll just drag over all of this, go to merge shapes and union them together. Done. Now I'll go to insert, go to shapes and pick this oval shape over here and put it right over here. There you go. And I'll press Ctrl Shift and put it right over here. Then I'll drag over these two, go to merge shapes and union them together. Then I'll drag over all of this, go to merge shapes and you know subtract them done now i'll click on this i'll get a shape outline i'll increase the weight to six points and make this this lighter 15 percent ash color and go to shape fill and make this no fill i'll click on this form and shape icon to go to some extra details i'll go to lines and make join type to round and cap type to round so that it smoothens the thing out done now I'll go to insert, go to shapes again and pick the first icon we chose, the rounded same side corner rectangle and put it right over here and you know smooth it out a bit and put it right on top of it so that it serves as the lid. Now I'll click on this, go to home, go to format painter and paint the format right on top of it. Done. There you go. Our bottle is ready. Now to add some details, to add some water in it, I will go to insert, go to shapes and pick this curve over here and one click another click another click another click another click then press enter to create a shape done then i'll click on this go to home go to format painter and paint the format on top of it done now to create some bubbly effect i'll go to shapes and pick this uh, circle I'll press Ctrl Shift and duplicate it right over here, increase the size a bit and I'll randomize the circles. So you get the point, right? I'll randomize the circles. I'll just add some more details, I guess. Alright, put it right over here, another right over here and maybe this right over here and maybe the physics doesn't apply to this, I guess small, some, some you can allow some small bubbles, definitely. <laughs> Alright. This should work. Now I'll just drag over all of this, merge them together to union them and click on this. Go to home, format painter and paint the format on top of them. Done. Our bubbles are ready. Maybe minimize them a bit. Right? Like that. Done. Now to add some reflections, I'll go to insert, go to shapes and pick this arc over here and just put it right over there. I'll stretch it a bit. I'll put it right that and maybe over there and stretch it like that you know like that you need too many you know like you need to make it as a reflection and I'll click on this go to home go to form and painter and paint the format on top of it and create the reflection I'll go to insert again go to this and pick a line over here and just drag it over here and paint the same format on top of it so that it creates a reflection done so I'm gonna copy paste it right over here again and put it right over here and maybe you know, shrink it a bit and make it work like it's the bend yep it will definitely work as the bend and our water bottle icon is ready on PowerPoint thanks for watching
If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there will be one new video every Friday. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get a new video every Friday and become a PowerPoint Pro. Thanks for watching.